Hello, we are here at the Charlotte Roval today in the Mazda. Um, mm -mm -mm. I did pretty good in practice. Uh, that was unexpected. Um, it's the number one car there, but uh, I'm not sure what the competition is like right now as I'm driving at 1 a.m. like I usually am. Um, so we, we actually got a pretty interesting group of uh, drivers in here today uh, from all over the world. Pretty cool. Um, but I uh, really like this course. Should be a lot of fun doing my qualifying lap now. Uh, I actually had uh, some more week uh, 13 road racing. Oh, whoa. Okay, that was interesting. Car got really light right there. I'm just going to continue on since that was a warm up lap. Um, like I was saying, uh, I did Laguna Seca in the Mazda a couple of times. First time was just a disaster. Got taken out on the first lap. So there was not much to see in that one. So I didn't bother uploading that. And then the second one was better. I survived a big crash on the first lap. But uh, then that file corrupted. So that one was gone too. And there's not much, uh, not much for me to do on week 13, unfortunately. Uh, I much prefer doing official races. And, of course, there's not much of that going on this week, um, with the exception of this. So, we've got uh, the Mazdas at the Roval today. Um, let's hope that this first qualifying lap goes a little better than the warm-up lap did there a second ago. Um, I didn't get as much practice as I wanted to. Um, didn't feel like waiting for the next race. I wanted to jump right into the soonest one. And I've been here before in the Mazda, so it won't be too foreign. Or at least I would think I would do all right. The warm-up lap had me nervous, though. <laughs> but, uh, let's see how we do here. Car's not wanting to turn. Wow, jeez. Okay. Just refused to turn there. So that was terrible. We'll just try to keep it. All over the place. I need to stop talking and focus on what I'm doing. There we go. That's okay. Let's uh, we'll get this lap and hopefully do a little better the next time. Um, ranked number nine right now. Don't think there's too many people racing at the moment. Um, uh, like I said, people all over the world right now. So got to be aware of connection issues as well, so give people that little extra bit of room if we can. So we'll get this stinker of a lap done, hopefully get a little bit of a better one next. And uh, with that, hopefully also don't get taken out from behind if I uh, do get to qualify in front of anyone. Feeling too fast at the moment, though. I feel like I don't quite have it. That lap was a 135. Been a minute since our last race, because again, week 13, not much to do. But oh well. Let's see if we can take this a little better this time. Eh, a little better. Still don't like how I took that. So maybe we'll just uh, be in the back. That's fine with me too. Don't let the car get loose there again. That was strange. The first time through, I guess that was a cold tires thing. I feel like I haven't felt that really before. But, uh, okay, through there. We're about a second off my best time. Which, uh,. I assume I made while on lower fuel, and now that I think about it, I probably should have looked at the setup before I got in here, but uh, not too concerned about it, because I think you can adjust the setups in this week 13 series. But uh, that's alright. Just uh, trying to have some fun here. Not too concerned about road eye rating and all that stuff. Fastest lap for Suzuki, 
see what that is. That was a little better than last one. 134. Oh, so we're still pretty far back. But all right, that inspires me. Uh, how much time we got still? Still got about two minutes, so I'll get some more practice in. I clearly need it. Um, we're ahead of some people, so it's not like we're the slowest out here. But actually, is everyone qualified? No, there's more people that haven't. Look for a second, like, uh, everyone put a lap in. If that were the case, we would need to be getting ready soon, but no. It says there's about 18 cars, or 18 plus cars, and only 16 laps are in, so. I guess one thing we'll have to look out for is the car getting the light right here. Yeah, I can feel it again, actually. I let off the throttle, and it looks, it feels like it gets really light. So it can easily turn itself around, so I'm gonna have to think about that. Interesting. Still falling back. 13th now. Let's see if we can find where we can gain some time. Looking forward to this uh, upcoming season, and uh, only a couple days now I'm recording this on, um, well I guess it's technically Sunday, because it's past midnight. So, Monday we'll have some new stuff out, and uh, if I don't uh, record something right away, then I'm sure I'll have something before too long once all the fun stuff comes back. pretty good through that corner, but I'm not figuring it out this time around. I'm gonna think about how I'm taking that. Really gotta take the angle well on that corner, because if, uh, if you take it too shallow, then you're gonna head straight toward the wall. <laughs> if you cut it too hard, then, uh, well, I've seen some people clip the inside wall and they just go flipping over, so don't want that either. This always feels like really awkward for me to take that corner. I'm sure the real fast guys can get through there real quick. Looks like we're gonna get kicked out, yep. And it's about time to race, so. Not a great time, um, but we've got all of the Mazda drivers, whether it's the uh, rookie Mazda people or the, you know, the advanced Mazda, all put into one, I assume, this week. So we've got some heavy competition since I'm normally just doing the rookie stuff. Since I don't own most of the tracks that the advanced Mazda goes to, and that is where the real fast guys go. They go up the ranks. So on week 13, they're all put into one pile and here I am gonna get beat by him I'm sure <laughs> so we do have our uh, fast repair so I'll uncheck all this stuff to make sure that uh, if we need to take it we can take it real quick hopefully we won't need to but you know I'm kind of wondering are we doing a standing start or are we gonna do a rolling start don't actually know. I think in the past they've done rolling starts here. Probably because <laughs> kind of awkward, awkwardly placed in the back here, heading sideways. So that's interesting. So I might be doing a rolling start. That's fine by me, I guess. So long as guys aren't crashing on the pace lap, which last time I was here in the, uh, I think it was the advanced Mazda actually in that series so you would expect better but last time I was here they were crashing on the pace lap and it was just it was a nightmare so let's hope we don't see that again I assume that uh, most road guys that maybe don't do oval don't do as many rolling starts maybe and maybe that's why it was a bit of a mess 
I don't know what the, the reason why is, but no, actually, we're doing a <laughs> standing start. This is so okay, strange. Get okay. ready. I guess I'll Green launch flag, right towards this flag. wall. Ten minutes remaining. Ten Weird. Minutes. Three wide already at the start finish line. Left side, clear on the left. Right, watch out ahead. Get some room. That's cool. That guy's getting light on his feet. Car on your left. I don't know why they're braking so hard in this corner, but I'm glad I reacted in time. Stay on the right. You got to break down on the right. Give me some room, Go man. Keep to the right. Clear. Right, it's gonna get light on my feet here, so I gotta be aware. Yeah, look at that guy. He wasn't aware. Oh god. <laughs> well, look at me. I'm acting all smart, and then I hit the outside wall. I think I'm okay though. Doesn't seem damaged. <laughs> I had to go farther outside than I normally would there because the guy was spinning, and then the wall snuck up on me, but. Thankfully, we don't have any damage, it feels like. It feels like we're good. So, we look out, and that could be our one mistake of the race. I say, almost spinning out. Man, these cold tires are more lethal than I thought. They really don't want to stick when you need them the most. But, uh, we've gained some spots here from guys wrecking. We'll see where we are when we cross their line. Where are we? 11th. Right. Ooh, that didn't feel quite right. Maybe we are a little bit down. Maybe the steering's a little weird. The next car is Presti. Who knows? I didn't get much practice, so maybe that's just me not getting the practice I needed. Seems like we're catching up to these guys, though. Keep it close. Alright, not bad. No wall that time. Interesting they're keeping it up the track like that. I guess that's a thing to do. You have to drift up here anyway to get the angle on the corner. Maybe I'm down on speed a little. Or I think they just had draft. Maybe that's why they pulled away a bit. well enough to keep up. As mentioned before, I'm the number nine car, and uh, I do think that's a little bit inflated for me, so not too concerned if I'm off a little bit on that target. So right now, feels just about right to me. Good. Always kind of iffy on when I want to shift there because it feels like it turns better. Whenever you uh, don't shift, but then it, you're also on the on the limiter <laughs> if you stay too long. I'm not quite sure what's the best way to go about that. Go. Take that a lot harder. Just so nervous of that outside wall, so. Not quite keeping up to those guys ahead. Not surprised. Looked like we were good for a minute there, but now they've kind of gotten some pace. Tries to pull me towards the wall as a. Uh, I hit the brakes there. I'm gonna keep an eye behind me. We got a guy at number seven. About 2.4 seconds behind. So uh, we'll see if we can maintain that gap.
feel like I'm, uh, I need to go through these corners more aggressively. It feels like I'm leaving a lot on the table. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Okay, Colton. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits. Apexes and exits. That's the thing, too. I just remembered, uh... These guys probably have setups. I've just got the default in. That's something to remember. I got all this fuel weighing me down and subpar default setup, so can't forget that as well. So we got a big group ahead of us there, maybe they'll start running into each other. Looks like they're going for passes. Trying to get two in one corner, maybe. That's probably going to be bad. Lots of danger happens in this corner very often. Yeah, it looks like they made it through, though. Of course, that's going to slow them down a bit, going through there too wide, but I don't think I have the pace to catch up to them, even with that in mind. Uh, that guy's hitting... So that's a spot. Not sure what's going on with that. Still under driving every corner. Um, You're in the top ten. Lost a lot of time behind us. I think they're going to catch and pass us before this one's over. So we might not be able to hold on to this top ten. Through there a little better that time, it felt like. Alright, Colton, the next car is Presty. Alright, feeling a little bit better. Feeling like I'm now finally warmed up, kind of remembering how this goes. But uh, even warmed up. <laughs> These guys are catching behind me. Looks like uh, they're grabbing some draft, maybe, because they're catching me on the, uh, on the straights now. Yeah, I'm just driving pretty poorly. We should be good. You know, leaving the 12th place and beyond behind, because they're. Uh, 3.9 and I saw it rising so probably good there that's two minutes left two minutes so uh, we won't make it too hard in this guy and we'll enjoy the gap we get that's your best lap in the session once we're free of that we'll do our best to stay ahead though to make them work for it They clearly have a lot more pace. Uh, Diving on the inside there? That was an odd place to try to pass. I, I can't just assume they're gonna wait for a good time because people dive it in all over in these series. No matter how ill-conceived the idea is. So you just always have to expect someone to come flying in from a mile back. Defensive driving. So we'll keep an eye on them. But we're not just going to pull over either. We'll try to be consistent. They're faster, but maybe we'll be more consistent. And uh, should be near the end of the race, actually. We might be in a fight to keep the top 10 as we're being pursued. But they're real close One now. They grabbed gone. all that draft. So let's drive it hard. Let's get the Q lap I should have had. I wanted to have before. Should is a pretty cocky thing to say. Like, oh, I should have the best lap. I'm good. I am not. But 
felt like I could have done better in quali. So let's see what we can do now. They are much better through there. <laughs> gonna just give that to you man you didn't have the nose on me it's the last lap I appreciate that they're not just taking me out though really try to get a good runoff here but uh, I don't think it's gonna be good enough to make some distance especially with the draft he's gonna pass me try passing me and uh oh wow he already he caught up fast <laughs> Never mind, I was going to say, oh, he's going to come into this corner, but uh, he's already here. Clear on the right. Oh, breaks me. No, Colter. Come on, mate, defend your position. Ah, uh, yeah. Took it easy through there, because uh, it's really easy to run into someone, so. Is now in the lead. That's fine. He uh, was more daring. Made the, made the hard breaking zone. I think they're hard trying to see if I could you catch a mistake, but the uh, you nah, they got it. The right. They passed me fair and square. I knew they were faster, so we had a flag, better flag. chance of holding them off than I thought, but he okay. ended up uh, we'll get getting it in the car. end. But that's cool with me. I uh, potentially damaged my car at the start there. Not sure how, if it was much or at all, but also I'm just not that fast, so. <laughs> Alright, 11th place. Not great, but it was a fun race. We survived. Got our 2x for knocking down the wall. <laughs> That's about it. Um, let's uh, just take a look, see what happened out there. And uh, we'll take this off for the viewing. Loose on the first lap. Much easier than I thought it would have been. Usually these cars just seem so hard to turn, but uh, lots of people having the same issue. There's me colliding with the wall. I guess I would prefer do that than uh, <laughs> do the, what the green car did. Or maybe I would prefer the wall. <laughs> still lap one, still having some issues out here. There's that damage. I assume that's the damaged green car rolling through there, but not much to see. <laughs> Just a tiny bit out, outside wall by the leader. Kind of pretend takes out that mirror. Because it just popped right back. That one, however, is not going to pop back because they really did hit the wall. Oof, well, just take out the other one. All right. That's really easy to do is hit too much curb there and just send your car kind of out of shape. And then you lose a lot of time through there. That's a very tough uh, chicane to get right. Chicane, best stop. Which one is it? I'm bad with these terms. I'm not a road racer. It's one or the other. So they're fighting for the lead here. Getting all of the track. That was a good race up front, it looks like. Just got some guys barely brushing the wall because they're giving it 110%. And then we got a little bit of blinking. That's bound to happen with uh, guys all over the world racing here. <clears throat> Doing a crossover, but crossed over a little too hard. Took out that mirror. And some good racing, it looks like. That was actually behind me, it looked like. Yeah, there's me up there. I got guys running to the wall. They were lucky. That wasn't worse. It looked like they were heading for the inside. Hopping the curbs, losing some time. Very easy to do. Even for the leader. That was the leader that did it. It's a fine line. Getting through there fast and uh, not hitting the turtle. And this was that bunch we saw, a uh, bunch of cars. They uh, kept it clean, I think, because uh, we didn't really get any more free spots. I don't know 
what was uh, going on here? Did they have really, like, no, they didn't have all that many incidents. Maybe they jumped a start at the beginning or something and they just never came in. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. So I guess that was a free spot for, for us. Whatever the deal with that was, so. And then that was blinking again. There's the guy that eventually caught up. That's the thing I was talking about. You hit the brakes and it kind of pulls you to the right. So that happened to them. They still caught us though. I want to take a look at my car real quick actually. Um, see how much damage I did to it. Because yeah, we took out the side. Um, the side of it right there. And uh, let's take a look. See if we can. Yeah, not too bad. We got right front damage where we pancaked it. But uh, probably minimal effect. That guy was going to catch me either way. Anyway, back to incidents. Hey, at least I made them work hard for it because it looks like they were uh, bouncing off some walls and they had to give it everything they had to get past me. So, congrats to them. They did it. Made them work for that top ten. Just some brushing of the wall. Nothing too serious going on. This guy calls it quits. Is that the end of the race? I believe that would be the end of the race. So, um, not my finest performance, but right about what I expected. You know, I felt like that uh, ninth was a bit optimistic, so got about eleventh, and it was in a clean race. So, um, not too many guys getting taken out. That's how I ended up with a better I rating than I should have. It's fast guys ending up uh, wrecked, and me benefiting from it just by being a turtle on the back and slowly passing the injured hairs up front. <laughs> that's typically how it goes. So that's that. Thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll have some more week 13 content. I don't know. Maybe it'll be uh, next week when everything comes back. We'll see. But for now, I hope you have a good one.